What's up y'all, Jeff Anderson here with Florida Fishing Products. You might see us on YouTube, One Fish, Two Fish, my wife, Christy and I. Uh, we have our YouTube channel and we work with Florida Fishing Products. So today we're gonna talk to y'all about how to catch speckled trout. In the last video that we did, we talked about where to catch speckled trout and some of the areas that you wanna look for. Now we're gonna talk about how to catch speckled trout. So once you locate them, you've done the hard part, now it's the easy part how to catch them. So we're gonna show you guys the best baits and everything for how to catch these speckled trout. So let's get right to it. And the first lure that I wanna show y'all that's the most popular and versatile speckled trout lure is a jig head. A jig head is the number one thing that you want to have in your tackle box for fishing speckled trout. So a jig head is extremely versatile. You can fish it all parts of the water column. You can bounce it on the bottom. You can fish it in the upper part of the water column, the middle part of the water column, and that's very important because speckled trout will be in all parts of the water column. Redfish, you know, redfish will be tailing. Um, as speckled trout are in the same family as redfish, their behaviors are a little differently. So speckled trout will be a lot of times in that middle part of the water column. So we are gonna be wanting something that has a little bit more of like a swimming motion to it, which is why a jig head works. Also, one of the more popular lures for speckled trout is a mirror lure. So let's digress for a second and let's talk about a jig head. So a jig head is, like I said, it is the most number one important lure that you wanna have in your tackle box for speckled trout. Now, for jig heads, I like to use, this is a 1 8 ounce size jig head. 1 8 ounce weight. This has a slower fall rate. I like to fish this when I'm fishing either in the winter time, when the trout are, are slow and lethargic, and they want a very slow sinking bait. I'll also fish this in shallow water you know, anywhere up to about four to five feet, which is in a lot of the areas that we're catching these speckled trout. So an eighth ounce jig head, definitely wanna have in your tackle box. The next one, probably the most common that I use is gonna be a quarter ounce jig head. It's very versatile, you can fish this on the bottom, you can fish this, you know, I fish a, uh, a quarter ounce jig head um, in about anywhere from that, you know, four foot of water up to about 10 feet of water. Uh, if I'm fishing deeper than 10 feet of water, um, then I'm gonna be using a 3 8 ounce jig head. Also, if I'm fishing in the surf, which is really popular here in the mid-Atlantic in the Outer Banks in North Carolina, um, then we like to use 3 8 ounce jig heads. A lot of people will even use a tandem rig, which um, might be getting a little bit ahead of ourselves, but they'll use a 3 8 ounce jig head and then they'll trail that with a 1 8 ounce jig head as a tandem rig. But a 3 8 ounce jig head you wanna use when you're fishing in water depths of you know, anywhere from, I'd say eight foot or greater than you're gonna be using a three eighth ounce jig head. But again, the most common is gonna be that quarter ounce because a lot of times you're gonna be bouncing the bait on the bottom and that's where those speckled trout are gonna be. But again, sometimes they are gonna be in that middle part of the water column. Uh, I like to use these jig heads as opposed to, we've got different types. Uh, we also use these mirror lure. These are jig heads made by mirror lure. This is another eighth ounce mirror lure jig head. I like this one because um, just the way that it swims, the presentation of it, very nice, and the hook is very high quality. So you also have a little bit larger gap for these mirror lure jig heads than you do for these gotcha jig heads right here. Um, the majority of the time we're gonna be using these mirror lures and the gotchas. Sometimes people really like these trout eye jig heads right here. These are popular, especially with Z-Man. But the thing about these trout eye jig heads, as you can see, the shank, let me put them right next to each other. So the shank on these trout eye jig heads, the hook is shorter. So this is the shank right here. It's shorter than it is these two. So you wanna keep that in mind because if you're fishing a larger profile bait, this is a Z-Man diesel minnow. Then as you can see, the hook's gonna come out at the very top of this bait. So the trout are gonna be biting, you know, you're gonna miss about 50% of your trout because they're gonna be biting it, you know, right here in the middle part and, you know, back here. So that's where I like to use a little bit longer. I like to match my jig head with the size of the bait that I'm using. So these jig heads, you're gonna be fishing soft plastics on. I probably should have mentioned that first. So these jig heads, you're gonna be using soft plastics. My favorite soft plastics in combination is, number one, 
a Z-Man Creole Croker right here. This is a Z-Man Diesel Minnow Z Creole Croker. Love this color. Very, very natural looking. And I'll fish this on a quarter ounce jig head. And I'll actually rig this one up for y'all. So this right here is a properly rigged soft plastic. This is my favorite setup. If I had only one lure to fish with for the rest of my life for speckled trout, it would be this setup right here. Quarter ounce jig head and a Z-Man Diesel Minnow Z. This you can, you know, again, it's just got great action with this paddle tail. Uh, it's, you know, you can even troll these behind the kayak or a boat for that matter. Uh, but as even when this lure is just sinking, you're gonna get a lot of your strikes right there because this action is just amazing in the tail. So jig head, very, very versatile. This is the number one lure you wanna have in your arsenal for catching speckled trout. Some other lures that you can use uh, for jig heads are gonna be uh, Berkeley Gulp Jerk Shad, uh, Berkeley Gulp Shrimp is very popular, Berkeley Gulp Swimming Mullet. Uh, there's tons of soft plastics out there. There's even these other ones. This is a Billy Bay. Halo Shad, uh, Christy, my wife, just caught like a 21 inch speckled trout on this lure last week. Uh, we were just doing a random lure fishing challenge and we were just, you know, fishing all different types of lures. This is another soft plastic. Um, you have your DOA Shrimp, uh, which is a very popular soft plastic. This is the three inch, this is a quarter ounce uh, DOA Shrimp. These are very popular in Florida. Um, and these are also going to be another popular soft plastic. As you can see, this is not a jig head, but it is a soft plastic. Soft plastics are the most versatile and probably most used speckled trout lure that you definitely want to have in your tackle box. The other rig that's popular when we're fishing uh, a soft plastic, you can go I have two different setups to show y'all. So the first one is just straight to a jig head. And I have it on a 3 8 ounce jig head because we were fishing in deeper water. This is the Z-Man Nuclear Chicken color. And this is a diesel minnow. Um, so again, that's kind of the most popular way is just fishing straight to a jig head. Uh, you can again control it through all different parts of the water column, bounce it off the bottom, swim it through the middle. Um, but the other more popular way is a popping cork. If y'all don't have a popping cork in your tackle box and you're just starting out speckled trout fishing or you're trying to get somebody into speckled trout fishing, you gotta have a popping cork. Popping cork is very easy. We've talked about these plenty of times on this channel, but you do have to have this in your tackle box. So we have a tutorial on how to fish a popping cork in another video, but you guys definitely wanna check this out and have this. So for speckled trout, you know, you'll have Mm, anywhere from two, two and a half feet of leader line. And then I have a quarter ounce jig head right here with that. And on the quarter ounce jig head, it's gonna be any of those soft plastics that we had mentioned. Um, so you can have a jerk shad, a shrimp. Shrimp is probably the most popular under a, under a popping cork because of the noise that the popping cork makes in the water. It's kind of that clicking noise. So some of the larger popping corks will make a larger noise, which will uh, kind of duplicate like a school of um, minnows being busted on. Anyway, so a popping cork is extremely versatile and you can fish that over top of oyster bed. If I'm fishing over say a shallow oyster bar that's like two to three feet deep, then I'm probably gonna use a popping cork because if you're fishing straight to a jig head, then you're probably gonna get hung up on that oyster reef. And that's where a popping cork comes into play, especially if you have submerged grass because um, popping corks will allow your lure to suspend above that submerged grass. I'll even fish a popping cork over top of like jetty rocks. Um, even though it might be a deeper jetty that has like 10 feet of water, even to 40 feet of water in the middle channel you know, of that inlet, I'll fish a popping cork sometimes and cast it right up on alongside of the rocks and that's where those speckled trout are gonna be sometimes. So popping cork, very versatile and it's not just something for beginners. It is something that you can use to suspend your bait in that proper part of the water column so you're not getting hung up on rocks or oyster bars. So the third most popular lure is gonna be our mirror lure or hard plastics. This is such a fun way to catch speckled trout and very effective. So big speckled trout 
are you know heavily opportunistic feeders. So you'll catch big speckled trout on anything. You'll catch them on a jig head. You'll catch them on a pocket cork. However, if you're going after just big trout, a mirror lure is one of the most effective ways to do that. I, this is a Miradine XL. My personal favorite is the Miradine Double XL. So this is my favorite mirror lure that I like to fish. So speckled trout are opportunistic feeders and they are going to, even though this is a double XL and what most would consider a larger profile bait, you're still gonna catch, like it, you'll be surprised at the small speckled trout that you'll catch on this larger lure. Uh, you'll catch 10 inch trout. You'll catch trout that are barely even much almost not even larger, barely larger than the size of this lure itself. So don't think just because you're using this big lure that you're not gonna catch as much speckled trout. That's not at all the truth, especially uh, in the cooler months when speckled trout want to um, use less energy to you know eat their food and chase down their food. A larger profile bait is that moves slower is gonna be awesome especially again for catching larger speckled trout. So a mirror lure is very, very effective. This is an example of some of the mirror lures that I like to use and that I keep on my boat or in my tackle box all the time. So this is a Paul Brown. This is not the Miradine. This is a mirror lure, Paul Brown. And this is, you know, it's soft plastic, but it has the same exact um, kind of action as the mirror lure. Uh, it's just a little bit more fat. You got some beads in there for a little bit of noise and it, it does sink a little bit slower than your uh, Miradines. But so for the Miradines, we have all different types of sizes that I use. Um, you have a smaller profile right here. This is the Heavy Dean right here. I love this color. This is probably my favorite color for the smaller profile. Then we get to the XL. You know, just like I was saying, my favorite color that I catch a lot of our speckled trout and big speckled trout on is this Creole croaker. So I love this mirror lure. This is the XL. So a little bit larger profile than your regular Miradine. So you got your Miradine, Miradine XL, and then you got your Miradine double XL. So just the size difference right here. You got your Miradine and then your double XL. So this one, you know, you're still gonna be catching larger trout, but you really want to go for those large trout and you're still going to catch numbers the double xl is really what you're going to have to get it done so some other ways that you're going to catch speckled trout you got top water so this this right here is top water and uh this is a uh rapala and you can just more of like a walk the dog this is a spook junior right here and uh top water is a very effective way to catch speckled trout and if you don't like catching fish on top water then i don't know what to tell you because Catching speckled trout and any fish on top water is probably the most exciting way to catch fish. So if I can catch fish on top water, then I'm definitely gonna throw that on. I'm gonna throw on the spook. And those trout love those. Any bait that resembles like swimming, a walk the dog motion, that's where speckled trout are really going to be turned on by that. We're, you know, again, we're still gonna be um, jigging baits off the bottom, bouncing them off the bottom. Um, similar even to kind of flounder fishing, just slow and low. Okay, so those are the most popular ways to catch speckled trout. Just to review very quickly, um, these lures that we've showed y'all and when I use these lures. So I'm gonna be using these slow sinking lures like this, these Miradines and the Paul Browns in the winter time. The Paul Brown has a, has a slower sink rate than the Miradine. So the Paul Brown, is very popular when the water gets dead cold. When it's like in the low 50s and in the 40s, Paul Browns are very effective. As are the Miradine XLs because they do sink slower. These sink slowest out of the mirror lures. So Paul Brown is great. You know, people do fish them because you can fish this at the top of the water column in the summertime um, and in the springtime in your warmer months. Me personally, I like to use a Paul Brown really when it's cold. And then if I if the trout are um, busting on the top, um, or they're, you know, even if it's also, I can use a Paul Brown if there's a shallow oyster reef as well, and I don't wanna use a popping cork, then I'll use a Paul Brown because again, you got that slower sink rate and it's gonna stay 
about one to two foot below the water surface. So Paul Brown's very effective for that. Mirrodin XL and the double XL. I like to fish these a lot in the fall when trout are really fattening up. The double XL, when it's like September, October, and November, um, and y'all in Texas, y'all know what I'm talking about when you guys are catching your 30 inch trout and I'm insanely jealous of, um, these double XLs are gonna get the job done. So these are great in the fall, me personally. You can use these in the summer, you can use them in the springtime, but in the fall, I'm almost exclusively only throwing a double XL. A jig head, again, I'm gonna have this tied on all the time. I'm gonna use this in the winter time. I'm probably gonna use a 1 8 ounce jig head in the winter for that slower fall rate. I'm gonna use a quarter ounce jig head when that water temp is in their sweet spot, you know, upper 50s, 60s to low 70s. Um, and then when it's really warm water, you know, you've got 80 degrees, and you're targeting those uh, deeper areas, those sloughs, and that's when even at the inlets as well, some of that deeper water there in the inlets, that's where you're gonna use your 3 8 ounce jig head. That's gonna get that down to the bottom. This is a 3 quarter ounce jig head, and we really, I don't really use um, anything heavier than a 3 8 ounce jig head for speckled trout. I know people do use these, I personally. I have them in my tackle box, three quarter ounce, but it's mainly the three eighth ounce is about the heaviest that I'll go. So that right there is how you catch speckled trout. Thank you all for watching and go out, catch yourself a big old gator speckled trout.